I don't care what anybody else said. I don't care if it didn't work for them, didn't work for your mom and your dad. I don't care. You got to do what the Lord tells you to do. Amen. And it might not be in an audible voice. You might be watching television and something happens and it comes on the screen. If it's a good thing, it's from the Lord. I don't care. I've gave my testimony before one time that, you know, I was leaving for some finances to come in and there was this thing on television and they were saying, you know, send money here if y'all need somebody out there. I think they were speaking right to me. They may not have been, but I believe God. I sent that donation and guess what? Child, y'all, I can't, I got so many stories. Y'all just won't believe it. I'm telling you, God is so good. He is the God of the impossible. You know, if you believe that you heard from the Lord, do it. Amen. I don't care who said don't do it. Do it. All right. So finally, I did what he said. Something came on TV one night. And I had been watching these commercials for a long time. And it's always saying to do this certain thing. And I didn't do it. You know, I'm thinking like, you know, I'll talk to somebody about it. And they say, oh, no, they just, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. I can't tell you the circumstances. That $260,000 number was removed after I did what I was supposed to do years ago in 90 days. Come on, let's shout me. $260,000. I got the letter. I can't tell you because I had to sign a non disclosure agreement with the creditor. But I want you to know El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, the almighty one, the all-sufficient one, will always come through for you, and it will always be at the right time. It may not be quick as you want, but he will work it out in your favor. Amen. Be encouraged. Keep the faith and never, ever doubt his word. So let's turn to Psalm 91. And we're going to read verses 14 through 16. Psalm 91. Are you all excited about my 260,000 debt release? Amen. Praise God. That was years ago, but I, that's a testimony. You've got to always give a testimony of what God has done for you. Amen. That encourages somebody else. I don't know out there in social media if you've got a debt that's more than you can handle. But you got a God. If you ask Jesus to come into your heart, He loves you. He'll do anything for you. But you got to do what He tells you to do. Amen? Amen. Psalm 91, 14 through 16. I got the paper. Nobody believes me. I got the letter. I will bring it in and show you. It says, pay it in full. Woo! Hallelujah. I tell you. I was screaming, I was shouting. I've been giving that testimony for years because it's true. It is so true. He will do what he says he will do. All right, Psalm 91, verses 14 through 16. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And in verse 16, though, this is the part I'm always talking about. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. But if you know me for any amount of time, my confession is, I'm going to live to be 120 in my right mind. Well, in good health first. And in my right mind, and I always say, at least I think I'm in my right mind. You all may not think so, but I will. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. So the Message Bible says it this way. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best care if you'll only get to know and trust me. Call me, and I will answer. I'll be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you. Then guess what? Then it says, then throw you a party. Mm. Woo! You know I get a party after that 260,000 one way. I'll give you a long life. Give you a long drink of salvation. 
Isn't that good news? Amen. Now, the King James says, under the shadow of the Almighty. So that can mean in the presence of God. God is always surrounding you. In his presence, all good is yours. Understanding that will help you to be at peace, no matter what your current circumstances are. No matter what's going on, God is still with you. He's all around you, and he's in you. When we go over to the New Testament in John 14, 19, we read what Jesus says about himself. So let's go over there. Gospel of John. Verse 14. Chapter 14, verse 19. John 14, verse 19. <coughs> says that yet a little while, and I write down John 14, 19. Yeah. He said, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But you see me, because I live, you shall live also. Now, I don't exactly think that was the scripture I wanted, but we read what Jesus says about himself. He said, If he lived, we live. Amen? Amen. Now, God revealed himself to Moses in the Old Testament as the great God I am. Jesus was trying to tell the Jews. I am that God that you are looking. You are looking at God right now. The Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated in his earth walk that he is the great God I am. He is more than enough. Now we see Jesus and the disciples out in the wilderness. All oh, this is talking about El Shaddai. He's El Shaddai. We see Jesus and his disciples out in the wilderness. With the multitude, he was preaching what we call the Sermon on the Mount. And that's in John chapter 6, when he had fed 5,000. When Jesus comes on the scene, guess what? He is more than enough. In John 2, 1 through 5, we read about Jesus attending a wedding in Cana of Galilee with his mother. She told Jesus they were out of wine, and she told the servants what to do. And listen to him. If he tells you anything, do it. That's what she told him. Then Jesus gave them some more instruction, and they followed, and a miracle happened. And that gets back to my story. Do what God tells you to do. Amen. I don't care what anybody else tells you to do, but do what you think he told you to do. He's not going to steer you wrong. Amen. Has El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, the Almighty One, the All Sufficient One, Giving you some instruction? Has he given you some instructions? Mm -hmm. Come on. Have you done what he told you to do? Are you waiting? Or are you waiting to take action? Did he tell you to do something you haven't done it yet? Come on, I don't get nothing. Mm -hmm. Think about it. <laughs> All right. In closing, this might be my first verse. Mm -hmm. Remember the 91st Psalm. There are seven things El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, said he would do for the person who sets his love on him. You can read it later, but I'm going to tell you these seven things. You can listen to the tape later or whatever. He says, one, deliver him. He will deliver you. So when I'm reading these things, I put myself in that. He will deliver me. Amen. Number two. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. I said, he will set me on high because I know his name. This is how you work the scripture. You know, some people, I don't know how to pray. Pray the scripture. Say it back to him, what he's saying. This is, talk to him. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I said, I will call upon him and he will answer me. See what I'm talking about? And this is all in Psalm 91. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I said, he will be with me in trouble, and he will deliver me. And number five, and honor him. I said, he will honor me. I don't know how. Maybe he's honoring me now because I get to stand up here and tell this great testimony, tell you about the goodness of El Shaddai. That's an honor to me. So I figure that he's honoring me now. Amen? Amen. Number six, 
with long life. What I satisfy him. Oh, I'm always talking about that. He will give me long life. Amen. I'm going to live to be 120 and good health and in my right mind. Even if you don't think so, I'm going to think so. All right. And the seventh, show him my salvation. Salvation belongs to me. He's already shown me his salvation. Jesus died for me and rose again. So I am saved. Hallelujah. We need to truly understand the importance of I will or I shall. There was once a scholar that was a translator for the U.S. government during World War I. He was recognized as the leading Hebrew and Greek scholar of this day. Now this is going to be some good news for you, so listen to this. He said that there are some things in the Greek, Greek and some in Hebrew that we cannot properly transfer into English. For instance, John 14, 13 through 14. And we're not going to turn there because we're getting close to ending time. And I said I wasn't going to keep you long. He explained that the translators felt that they should use either I will or I shall because those two words are the strongest assertion you can make in the English language. When you say I will do it or I am going to do it, I will do it. That's the strongest thing you can tell a person. You can't say anything stronger than I will do it or I shall do it. He said, though, in the original Greek language, that it literally says, get ready now, are you ready? Get ready. It says, if you will ask anything in my name, if I don't have it, I'll make it for you. Drop the mic. Hallelujah. What you talking about? Did you all hear that? If you ask anything in his name, if he doesn't have it, he's going to make it for you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I'll tell you. I tell you. I'm excited. Yeah. And thank God he can because he is El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. Now, I trust that you'll continue to believe in El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. The Almighty One, the All Sufficient One. Why? Come on. Because He is more than enough. All right. If there is anyone listening on social media and you came across this message and stopped to see what was going on, then you are in the right place at the right time. If you don't know this El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, the Almighty One, the All Sufficient One, you can. If you invite him to come into your heart and to be your savior, he will. He has already died for the sins of everyone. There is nothing that he will not forgive you for. As a matter of fact, he has already done it. All you have to say is, I believe that you are my savior, that you died for me and for my salvation. Come into my heart and change my life. That's as easy as that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That concludes my message. I hope you got something out of it. And remember, El Shaddai. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now we will have our tithes and offerings. By social media, you can go onto your mobile device and click on Increase International Ministry, or you can go to Give Me Five, not on the screen, and put in Increase International Ministries. You will find how Pastor Sonia and Pastor Harvest picture, and just click on the Give button and give a donation. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you.